Raised crosswalks are great. They elevate pedestrians, make them more visible, and force cars to slow down at crossing locations. So here's how this one was built between this island and the school. First, we're going to mill the road on each side of where the new raised crosswalk is going to be. This is called a key cut, and it helps the new asphalt bond to the existing road. Now that we got our key cuts all set, let's start pouring some asphalt. We're going to start on the multi-use pedestrian and bike path side of the road first, just to make sure we get the shape right, and then we'll move on to the big section across the main road. So this is going to get paved in two lifts of two to three inches each. The first lift is called the binder course, and there it is getting rolled. Look how satisfying that is. And then we're going to pave the surface course, and you can see the slopes of the raised crosswalk really taking shape. Fast forward a day and here is the main raised crosswalk all built. Now they're just applying a sealant between the new asphalt and the existing road. And here's your finished product. This crosswalk was installed at a school, so now students will have an easier and safer time crossing the street to get to the park or to their parents' cars during arrival and dismissal. Now let's watch it in action. Perfect. All that's left to do is install some pavement markings like the crosswalk itself and some RRFBs and then this raised crosswalk is done.